So the question most asked about the fighters now who just recently saw Terrence Crawford um, do what he needed to do against Benavidez. Now the question is, Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford. This is what I saw. There's no way Terrence Crawford could beat Errol Spence if he could struggle with a guy who we really don't know and haven't had questions answered about him. But one of the things that fighters consistently under, well, casual fans, they underestimate what it takes and the skill set that was displayed that night. What my point was, and I'm talking to my fighters and you guys too, Coach Bradley here, getting ready to get this thing conversation started. What is the difference between a fighter that has the ability to deal with anything that comes their way, a la Sugar Ray Leonard? They ask this question constantly. Can Terrence Crawford, or how can Terrence Crawford beat someone as powerful and destructive as Errol Spence? I always tell you to go back in time. You've already seen that fight before. If you pull it up today, it's probably all over social media. And you saw this fight, and for those who are in my generation, we saw it live, and that was Sugar Ray Leonard, marvelous Marvin Hagler, who was plotting, devastating with punch skills, power, boxing prowess, had every angle and understood the ring like no other when it came down to walking his opponent down, cutting off the ring, body head attack, very good defensive prowess. These are the things that you saw when you saw a marvelous Marvin Hagler. And I told my guys, when you start to see people talk that stuff out on social media, of course they don't know what they're talking about. They only think they know what they're talking about, and that's fine. That's why you have experts, real experts, not just because you're sitting in front of a microphone saying you're an expert, but expert because experience gives you the ability to say you're an expert. 10,000 hour rule. 10,000 hours in any given um, sport or any given business or any given topic makes you an expert. Well, I'm in 73,000 hours and there is no award or no certification or no license to predicate the level of in that I'm in. And that's what I'm saying. That fight has already happened. Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, Sugar Ray Leonard, and Marvelous Marvin Hagler. This is Crawford, different postures. Go look at that fight, boom. Knowing he can't go toe to toe, and when he does, he picks his spots. He's going up and down and spinning. And yes, it's already happened before. It is. One of the things that people want to say, oh, but what if he get caught? Yeah, what if Sugar Ray Leonard got caught? He was out of the game five years, and he fought the greatest fighter at middleweight, arguably in history, aside from Hopkins and, and, and Sugar Ray Robinson, who really was a welterweight who moved up. So we won't even say that. Carlos Monzon, you know the few. I don't have to really run those names, but co-sign on what it is. You've already seen the fight, and it's going to look a lot like that. Terrence is going to move, pick his shots, throw in combinations just like he did Saturday night against a six-footer. Errol Spence is going to chop the ring off in spots and make him fight. I'm going to tell you something about this kid, Terrence Crawford. His mom used to pay neighborhood kids ten dollars for anybody who could kick his ass this kid ain't scared to fight it's the reason why he calling them out there are levels to this game and you know when you're ready to step your game up this guy fought a guy who's six foot tall crafty very cagey inside of the ring and he shut him down in the second half for the fight that's one of the greatest attributes of a great fighter just like Floyd Mayweather used to do he used to take what you did best, and even Bernard Hopkins did the same thing. Take what you do best, strip you of it, and then see how much you got in your bank account. Then, whenever you're broke, you ain't got nothing to take into that ring and show your fighting cachet. 
He strips you of your great right hand. He strips you of your great left hook. He makes you miss, and then he makes you pay because you're a natural attacker, so he just plays the matador. So everything you do good, they take it away. These are the kind of things that guys like Terrence Crawford do. They don't just go in there and fight. That's a strategic battle that they was in there against. So, you know, I'm just speaking to the things that you must understand, the equations. You can have your opinion, but don't act like Earl's gonna walk out there and, and, and knock Terrence Crawford out in three rounds. This fight, like I said, has already happened and one of the greatest punchers and boxers in the game right now is Errol Spence. It makes an interesting conversation, but he knows he has his hands full. He's no fool. There is nobody out there that can get you ready for Terrence Crawford whenever you're fighting. And this era, this generation, there's not one fighter at 47 that can prep you for what you're going to find and what you're going to see against Terrence Crawford. That's a different animal. He had the, he got the knockout in the 12th round, uppercut, uh, a uppercut was coming. He slipped it and threw his and threw the hook behind it, but he was already out because he flipped backwards. I ain't seen nobody putting it out there like that. And that's all I got. I just wanted to make sure that you guys are understanding from an expert point of view. And when I say my name, Coach Eric A. Bradley, AKA the real fight doctor, and there is no other on this level. I mean that, I don't just be saying it. Um, but I do appreciate the questions. So if you do have a question, drop it down in the comment, down, uh, comment box below. Share this post. I'm gonna give you five seconds. The share button is right down there. So take it, share it. Then give me a thumbs up when you shared it. That's what I want to see. Five, four, go ahead and take it, share it. That's all you got to do. And every time I see the share, I'm going to go there, leave a comment on your share, and a thumbs up back. That's how I get down. And those of you who share and tag somewhere or tag someone, make sure that they see this. So going into their fight, you're not caught up in those smoke and mirrors. We educate the fight game. I commentate the fight game. You see it down here below this video post. We want to make sure that you guys have clarity on situations and scenarios and fights like this. This is all. I'm not, this is not a me thing. This is my contribution to boxing and my knowledge. And I hope you guys take the time out and get serious. Share the post. I'm gonna give you five more seconds to share or tag someone. Or three. Just hit share and put Crawford. Spence. Boom. That's all I got for right now. Coach Eric Bradley signing out. We got an amazing sale for those coaches who are out there, up there on our website. Take the time. Be blessed at God's speed. And this is the fight game. Master Boxing, where you get your master's degree in boxing. Spence Crawford. Who you got? And did this post impact your decision? Peace.